Wall ball is the most important drill in lacrosse. So if you want to do wall ball like a division one lacrosse player, listen up. Today, I asked my friend Hayden Baker, a former midfielder for High Point University, to take me through his wall ball routine. He's going to show me the 10 different wall ball drills he used to become a D1 lacrosse player. If you're a beginner, do 25 right and left of each exercise, intermediate is 50 each hand, and advanced is 100 each hand. And then you can turn on expert mode, which means you can't drop the ball at all during each drill or else you have to start over. Or you can go extra expert mode, which means you can't drop a ball the entire time or else you have to start completely over. I can guarantee you that if you do this routine every day or at least a few times a week, you will see results. I bet there's a few drills in here that you haven't seen before, even if you're an advanced lacrosse player. So the first drill you want to start with is the face dodge to shovel pass. This is a pretty advanced drill, but I like doing a harder drill first to really get myself locked in. Start by doing a face dodge and bring the stick across your body, then throw the ball cross-handed towards the wall. This simulates a game-like situation where the defense is coming at you and you quickly need to make a move around them and pass the ball. I've never heard of this drill until Hayden showed me, but I'm definitely including it in my wall ball routine. Then you can move on to overhand passing. This is when you stand five or ten yards away from the wall and pass and catch like normal. You should be hitting the same spot every single time. This is what gets you better at lacrosse, really focusing on using your brain to make crisp, accurate passes. By the way, if you're buying any lacrosse gear, please use the links in my description before you buy. It gives me a little commission at no extra cost for you and really supports this channel. And next we have the catch and split. This is when you catch the ball, split dodge, and throw with your other hand. This simulates another game-like situation when you catch the ball and quickly have to dodge and get open. And if you're really trying to get better, make your split dodge even faster. Pretend like you're actually doing a split dodge in a game and really try to change direction before you pass again. And if you do this drill right, you're probably going to be really tired by the end of it. And next up, we have throw right, catch left, and throw left, catch right. This simulates another game situation where you receive a bad pass and you quickly have to switch to your other hand and catch the ball. This is when it gets a little bit tougher to catch all your passes if you bravely decide to do expert mode. And Hayden told me that you have to make sure that you're switching your front foot as you pass. Don't just stand there flat-footed and expect the ball to come to you. And next up, we have crossover passes where instead of passing it like you normally would, you bring the stick across your body and pass and catch. This one can be extra difficult if you've never done it before, so don't get discouraged if you drop the first few. Cross-handed passes are one of those weird passes that you don't really know you need until you randomly do it in a game and you thank yourself that you practice it on the wall. Then we have one of my all-time favorite drills, underhand passes. This is one of the best skills you can learn in lacrosse right now. If you can overhand and underhand pass well, you're going to be a very dangerous lacrosse player. Underhand passes come in handy when you want to throw a skip pass through the defense and they have their sticks in the passing lane. An underhand pass will let you stealthily throw it under their stick. If you can do underhand passes with ease, coaches are going to be very impressed. And another tip that Hayden told me was to make sure that you keep the head of your stick in front of your eyes. If you keep it behind your head, it's going to be very difficult to catch the ball. You want to have the stick out in front of you. And coming in next, we have one-handed passes. These are a great way to strengthen your wrist because you don't have your bottom hand supporting you. Now, Hayden says to make sure to keep your hand back far and away so you're snapping down on the ball instead of pushing up on the ball. If you push up on the ball, the ball might just fall out of the back of the stick and that's not a good thing. And get ready because one-handed passes with your non-dominant hand are going to be very challenging. And next up we have the catch and roll, which is another one of those useful skills in lacrosse. You start by throwing the ball and catching it with the same hand, then punching your hands to the outside and rolling to your other hand and repeating the process. This mimics a situation where you catch a ball and a defender is all over your hands, so you have to roll to the outside, get a around the defender and get your hands free open for a pass. Really make sure you're protecting your stick as you're rolling. If you leave your stick hanging, you might just get trail checked, which is never good. And then we have behind the backs, a drill that's becoming more and more important as lacrosse players continue to get better. Instead of passing it overhand, you pass the ball behind your back shoulder or behind the back. At first, behind the backs in lacrosse were more of a gimmick than a useful pass. But players have gotten more creative and now the behind the back pass is an essential pass for every lacrosse player to learn. It's especially good in tight when you need to quickly make a pass with a defender draped all over your hand. Behind the backs are extremely difficult for defenders to read. And to end things off, we have quick stick. This is when lacrosse becomes more like a game of hot potato and you're trying to get the ball in and out of your stick as quickly as possible. This is really helpful when you're on the crease and you're trying to shoot or pass the ball as quickly as you can. I challenge Hayden to a game of quick stick, first one to 25, and we kind of tied, but maybe I squeezed out the W. Shout out to Hayden Baker for showing us this awesome routine. And if you do it, let me know which level you 
did it, if you went expert mode, and how much time it took you. Also, I read every comment, so let me know down in the comments below what video you want to see next. And as always, you can get a poster or check the links down in the description to support me. I'm Jake with Lax Weekly. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.